Today, we're going to be answering the question, why helium doesn't form diatomic molecules like hydrogen would. So in the atmosphere, hydrogen exists in a diatomic molecule, where two hydrogens are covalently bound together. So we're going to look at why helium doesn't form that same kind of bond that hydrogen does in nature. To do that, we're going to use what's called a molecular orbital diagram. So the molecular orbital diagram represents the molecular orbital theory. And it's a way that we can explain how two atoms would come together to form a bond or not. This theory is one of the crucial ways to understand how bonding works in organic chemistry. So a molecular orbital diagram brings two atomic orbitals together to form bonds. So since we're looking at the bonding of two helium, let's start constructing this molecular orbital diagram. So helium has two 1s electrons. So remember an s orbital looks something like this. And helium's got two electrons in that 1s orbital. So there's one of our helium atoms. And let's go ahead and draw in the other helium atom. Remember the electrons are paired like this because of their opposite spins in each orbital. So there are two helium atomic orbitals. So in a molecular orbital diagram, we're going to take these atomic orbitals together in molecular orbitals to see if they form productive bonds. So out of these two atomic orbitals, there have to be an equal number of molecular orbitals formed. So if there's two atomic orbitals, we need two molecular orbitals. One of those molecular orbitals is called a bond, or a sigma bond in this case. So you can see it's actually lower in energy because those electrons are being shared between the two helium atoms. But just like we have a lower energy bonding orbital, we have something called the sigma star orbital, which is actually the opposite of a bond. It's called an antibond. So we have two atomic orbitals that have to give two molecular orbitals. And just like atomic orbitals, we can only put two electrons in each molecular orbital. So the sigma, the bonding orbital, has two electrons. But remember, we're combining four electrons total from those two helium atoms. So we also have two electrons that are up in the sigma. So in the sigma orbital, those two electrons, the waves that represent those electrons, are actually overlapping constructively to form what we would sigma bond. But in the sigma star orbital, those electrons are overlapping destructively and forming what we call an antibond. So if we were going to draw kind of the molecular orbital shapes, in the sigma bond, we'd see those two electrons uh, forming a bond like that. But in the antibond, those two orbitals actually have a node between them. And the two orbitals have opposite phases, which are usually just shown by shadings of the two orbitals. So this is the reason why helium doesn't form diatomic molecules. It's got just as many electrons destabilizing it in that antibond at the top as it does electrons stabilizing a bond between those two helium atoms. So good luck with molecular orbital diagrams.